Here we have an HP laptop. This is the X360 model. It looks something like this. It came in for no power. Now, this model laptop can be charged via the two USB-C ports that you see on the side here, or you can also charge it via the circular DC connector that you see here. And this is the blue tip charger. If we plug the charging cable, we do not see a white light and we do not see an amber or orange light. Right now I have the battery disconnected, so we're not gonna see any orange light, but we do not see a white light. Let me go ahead and plug the battery and then the charging cable. And if you look here, nothing. No red, no white. Same thing goes when we plug the USB-C cable. We do not get any lights. So we have a problem. USB-C amp meter showed 20 volts at 1.6 amps, and that's a good reading. But the battery is not being charged, and the laptop is not powering on. Right now I have the charging cable plugged in, and I just wanna test some voltages on the board to see if voltage is reaching. Meter in voltage mode. Charging cable is plugged in right here. It's going all the way right over here. If we measure here, do we have 19 volts? And we do. We do have 19 volts. Okay, and that's where I'm measuring, right here. You see the meter, 19 volts. If we measure at this MOSFET, we do have 19 volts. If we measure at this diode, we do have 19 volts. Let's go to the battery area. We have 12.8 volts. We have 12.8 volts. And doing a quick visual inspection just to see if there's anything blown or anything missing, anything discolored. I do not see any of that. The board looks mint, very clean. What's next? I did not remove the motherboard to inspect the back, but before I do so, why don't we inspect the board under a thermal cam and see if we see anything obvious. Right now we do not have a short on the board, otherwise we would have detected the short at the power MOSFET. Switch over to the thermal cam and let's see. Oh, look at this. We have something hot right here. Two spots. Let's go to manual mode. And we're gonna increase the temperature boundaries so we can pinpoint the spots. So right here, we are about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And some people complain that they like to see it in Celsius and not Fahrenheit. I can change it, but it doesn't matter. We see a heat spot here. We're gonna see what's going on at this point of the board. Something is getting hot right here. Let's test both MOSFETs and see. Maybe we have a bad MOSFET. Not a short, but a bad MOSFET. Maybe the gate is shortened to source or to drain. Or everything is shorting to everything. Meter in continuity mode. First thing we have to do is disconnect power and we need to disconnect our battery. Oh well. If we measure from here to here, we get nothing. And if we measure from here to here, oh, look at this. Gate and source are shorting out. Zero ohm short. So that's the problem. That's exactly where the thermal camera pointed us. We have a bad MOSFET. And the location of the MOSFET is right below the RAM. So let me remove the RAM. And we have to be careful. 6414, we do have that MOSFET. Okay. 
just like that. And let's grab a chip. Let's go ahead and solder the MOSFET. We're gonna press down, apply more heat. And just like that. Right, we're all set. The question is, will that solve the problem? Plug the battery and we're gonna plug the charging cable and see what happens. Ready? Nothing. Unless I'm missing something, but nothing. If we try to power it on, we got nothing. What do we get? Nothing. Right, so what else can we do? I'm honestly running out of ideas. Let me plug the charging cable back in and just do some quick measurements again. I'm going to measure the MOSFET that we replaced, this area here, and see what we got. We have 13 volts on one side and we have 19 volts on the other side. Let me grab another battery quick and I'll be back. We have a brand new battery here and this one is a charged battery. So I'm going to attempt to power the laptop on using the battery only and see if it powers on and let's power it on nothing we do not see a light and nothing I mean I knew the problem would not be the battery but why not try it now we have the main motherboard here and we have the power switch here I doubt I highly doubt the problem is the power switch, but let's take a look, why not? And that's the board here, a tiny board, but I highly doubt that that's the problem. But we have to look at all options. Right now I'm running out of ideas on what could possibly be wrong with the board. Let's take a look at this board under the microscope. And I see absolutely nothing wrong with it. I do see some corrosion. Right here. Just a tiny bit. Plug the power cable back in. And of course that's not going to be the problem. Let me plug the battery back in. And we have no light. All right. Uh, I'm going to look and see if we have the same laptop. And I would like to change that tiny board because that board contains the power switch. What if the power switch was bad? Very unlikely, but we have to try everything. And I do have one. I do have one that we fixed yesterday. And this one is exactly the same one. 
one round DC connector here and two USB-C connectors. And this one was mailed without any screws, so the cover comes right off. Same exact laptop. Let me remove that board. That's the board right here. All we have to do is disconnect the cable and plug it into this good working board. So I have the board like this, and that's the old board right here. And just a shot in the dark. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Wow. The board was the problem. We do have an orange light. Before we did not get that orange light. Let me see if the laptop will power on. What happens if we press the power button that's on the board? <laughs> right there. It's on. I see the fan spinning. And we do see the light on the board, but we want to see something on the screen. Right there. Right there. I honestly did not expect that board for one second to be the issue. All right. So we're going to order a board for the customer, that tiny board. And we're going to invoice and mail it back to him. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.